Hello, everyone. Welcome to Risk Awareness Week 2022 and this workshop on the Metalog Distributions, the Future of Risk Management Quantification. This is Tom Keelan coming to you from Chiloquin, Oregon. As you can see, uh, many thoughtful people are saying uh, very interesting uh, things about the Metalogs. Uh, we will explore in this workshop why, uh, from a very uh, practical and down-to-earth perspective. We're calling this the future of risk management quantification, but actually it's also the present. Uh, everything that I'll be talking about is, is available and can be done practically and added to your uh, box of risk management tools uh, today if you choose to do so. The agenda that we're following is uh, shown here. Uh, I'm going to spend just a very brief 10 minutes or so uh, giving an introduction as to why Metalog distributions are um, appropriate and uh, may be valuable for risk management. We'll spend roughly 35 minutes on practical uses. How can you represent empirical data, simulated data, expert elicited data, and so forth? And then we'll spend the last 15 minutes or so uh, working through how we can, how you can use uh, Metalog distributions of actually in your uh, modeling environment. These times are all approximate, uh, but they'll give you a sense of how we're proceeding. So let's begin. Uh, if there's one key message from this talk, it is that Metalog distributions are likely your best starting point for fitting continuous distributions to data. What kind of data? Well, it can be expert elicited data, as you see on the left. If you elicit 10, 50, 90 quantiles, the Metalog distribution will go through those uh, data points uh, exactly. You can also do this with four or five or more data points in which the Metalog would go through those points exactly, or approximately, if you prefer. Simulated data is another source of data uh, from your computer models. Uh, if you wish to display that simulated data as a continuous distribution, Metalog distributions are likely your best choice for uh, doing that, and it's very simple, very fast, and closed form. And then on the right, it's empirical data. Uh, as risk managers, uh, there's a, a huge amount of empirical data available uh, to which you would typically want to fit a continuous probability distribution and then use that distribution in subsequent analysis. Metalogs are, uh, are an excellent choice uh, for doing that. And uh, let me explain why. If you, if the, the reasons to opt for Metalog distributions uh, instead of classical distributions like the normal or the log normal and so forth, uh, the Metalogs have a whole series of advantages, um, and 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 the and the key ones are listed here. Perhaps most important, the Metalogs have virtually unlimited shape, uh, shape flexibility. That is, they can they can shape themselves better to the shape of your data than other distributions. And like a Taylor series, they can have any number of terms. The uh, second is that Metalog distributions are easily parameterized. They're parameterized, in fact, by data, not by, um, by, by parameters like mean and variance and skewness and so forth. They're actually parameterized by data and simple least squares fit. Third, you have a choice of boundedness. If you want uh, your distribution to be unbounded or have a, a lower bound, that is semi-bounded or an upper bound, or, or bounded on both ends, uh, that's easy to do with Metalogs. Uh, fourth reason is the equations are simple and closed form. There are no complicated statistical functions in the Metalog world. And five, the Metalogs are easy, easy to simulate because they have a closed form uh, quantile function, that is f to the minus one. So let me briefly show what I mean by uh, this Taylor series. The the uh, conclusion here, though, is that virtually unlimited, you know, the Metalogs have virtually unlimited applicability, uh, not just in risk management, but in any field of uh, human endeavor that uses data. Now, without going, I, I know there's no point in going through this equation in detail. That's explained in other places. But the, but the point I wish to make here is that the Metalog equation, which you see at the top of this slide, is like a Taylor series. You can use just the first two terms of the Metalog, in which case it's a logistic probability distribution exactly, but you can use three terms or four terms. You can expand any number of terms uh, to any number of terms you want, and each additional term